Getting things done is one of the most popular and effective ways to stay productive. I've practiced it myself for many years and in this video, I'm reviewing two apps that claim to be made exclusively for GTD. I've reviewed both of these apps separately before, but it's been a while and a few of you have asked me to do a comparison review of these two apps that seem to be the most popular choices for GTD apps. I'm talking about Nirvana and Facile Things. Since these apps are made for GTD, we're gonna also judge them by the five pillars of GTD. The first being capturing. How easily can we input new information into our system? The second is to clarify what that input is. The third is to organize all this information in a way that makes sense to us. The fourth is being able to review and reflect on our progress and on our life goals, for example. And the fifth is to actually engage. In other words, how well does the app support us to actually get going? In this review, I will focus on how these apps hold up compared to each of those stages exclusively, meaning I will not take into account third-party extensions. After all, these apps promise a full GTD experience on their own, and another app is just another tool to manage and pay for. So let's see how they hold up. Let's begin by looking at capturing. By asking ourselves the question, how easily can we input new information into the app? And the two keywords here are quick and easy because that's how it needs to feel. We need to be able to clear our head no matter where we are, no matter when or which device we're on. Both Nirvana and Fossil Things have an inbox, a separate list, which is the default bucket for new input to land into. Let's see how we can manually add a task. Both apps have a dedicated Add to Inbox button. They also both have a hotkey for doing this. I for Nirvana and Control plus one for Facile Things. Both apps also have a dedicated section for adding to the inbox on their mobile apps. Facile Things, as well as Nirvana, have built-in support for email capturing. You'll get a private address that you can use to forward items to the inbox. Facile Things capture window looks inviting and supports attachments, which Nirvana does not. And that's enough of an advantage for me to give the win to Facile Things in this area, although both are severely flawed. Generally speaking, both of these apps leave much to be desired in the capturing department because they don't support voice commands, for example. They don't integrate with assistants like Alexa, Siri, or Google Assistant. I know many of you use those as well. They also don't support widgets, which is what I love using on Todoist, for example, for easily capturing on the go. There's no way to capture something from the web easily either. They have no web clipper and they don't support social sharing on your phone. What bothers me the most though is that they both don't support creating tasks whilst you're not inside of the app. Apps like TickTick and Todoist have keyboard shortcuts for this that create an overlay on your screen, whatever else you're doing, to quickly input something and then continue with what you were doing. But with these apps, you have to open them. With Facile Things, you even have to open the website. So you have to have online access in order to first be able to drop something in there. And if you find yourself doing this too much, you may really risk losing your focus. Now that we've compared how we can capture new input, let's look at how these apps compare in clarifying this to make sense of it. Both apps have labeling functionality to tag any item in order to clarify what it means. In Nirvana, this is a more bare bones menu, allowing you to add specific labels for areas of focus, contacts, time, context, energy, action state, and due time. Facile Things works a bit differently. It has labels for time, energy, and urgency, but a drop-down menu for areas of focus. Context can be clarified by pressing hash, followed by the context name. These will then become available as tags from the menu. This is a weird quirk, and I don't understand why they wouldn't just add it to the existing menu, but that is how you do it. I like how both apps have dedicated options for the various action states an item may have. They both have built-in support for next actions, scheduled tasks, waiting for, and someday maybe. They also both support recurring tasks as well as subtasks. 
Neither app seems to support natural language for things like due times, areas of focus, etc., which is a shame. I want to use my mouse as little as possible, but using these apps relies on heavy use of it. A major flaw in Facile Things setup is that only items in the inbox or next actions can have their choice criteria like time, energy, and priority edited. I wanted to edit some things for a task I put on the calendar list, but it didn't allow me to, instead prompting me to first move it to the next actions list. You should be in control of your system, and it baffles me how this can pass user experience tests, but that is how it works, and Nirvana has no such limitation. Nirvana enables you to convert any inbox item into a project directly. All you have to do is right-click and press Convert to Project. From this same menu, you can also create reference lists and items. Facile Things is a bit more limited as it cannot convert an item into a project, but you can create a new project to associate with an item from within the Clarify menu, and it can convert to reference. Overall, Facile Things has a nice looking wizard, which is fun to use, but over time, I can imagine it really getting on my nerves because it just takes too much time. It feels too forced. Nirvana doesn't look as slick, but it is more feature rich, easier to use. And that's why I'm giving Nirvana the win here for clarifying. Let's discuss now where items go after we've clarified them and how we can easily find anything when we need it. Inevitably, after being processed from the inbox, items will need to be placed in a certain list. And both apps have a lot of pre-built GTD lists out of the box, which is great. But their approach is very different. So let's have a look and compare how it works. Nirvana has pre-built lists for next actions, waiting, scheduled, someday, and focus list. You can create project and reference lists during or after processing items from the inbox. Nirvana places heavy emphasis on your areas of focus, which can be filtered through at the top, which will be applied to everything. And I am not a big fan of this execution as it is easy to forget which area of focus you have selected, leading you to falsely believe you may have forgotten to put something in your system. I prefer seeing everything at a glance instead of this overlay approach and then filtering down instead of one filter overtaking the rest. To be fair though, you can ignore this filter by just selecting all areas. I love Nirvana's execution of project states. With just one click, I can move a full project and all of its associated tasks into the someday list, for example, or schedule it for later. Nirvana also supports a feature which I adore, sequential projects. You can set a project as sequential and then arrange the related tasks in order. And once you do that, under the next actions view, you can select sequential next actions. And you'll always see the first uncompleted next action associated with that project without having to alter anything after completing a particular task. And this is amazing if you know ahead of time what a project looks like and want Nirvana to feed you your next actions automatically. For more higher horizon stuff, especially long-term goals, you will need to create a separate list for this and track it manually as there is no built-in goal setting or tracking in Nirvana. Generally speaking, Nirvana is nice and minimal in its design. It's quick to use and offers you access to what you need intuitively for the most part. Now on to Facile Things. I can see the dedication to the GCD process reflected in its design. Tabs at the top related to each main phase, wizards guiding you through each process, and while I appreciate the effort, all this by-the-book design stands in the way of ease of use, in my opinion. To access my someday maybe, waiting for, or calendar lists, for example, I have to first hover over organize, Press lists, wait, and only then can I view them. This is a deadly user experience mistake that I know would annoy me massively if I were to use it on a daily basis, as I want easy access to all of my information. It's especially a shame because the way some of these lists are set up is great. Also, unlike Nirvana, Facile Things sports sections dedicated 
to higher level life topics like your long-term goals, vision and life purpose, and it allows you to interconnect them all with tasks and projects. Since ease of use and navigation without any lag or delay is most important though, I am giving the win to Nirvana for organizing. One part of productivity that in my opinion tends to be overlooked a bit is the ability to reflect on your progress regularly. While of course you can do this manually by going over your system, checking all your lists, etc., templates with checklists and activity logs can make this process a whole lot easier. For users that want some handholding, Nirvana leaves much to be desired. There is a logbook to show items that have been ticked off. After you press a separate button named Log Completed inside the logbook, press the cleanup button at the top, or just C on your keyboard. Not sure how that extra step helps. Uh, and I guess until then, completed items live in some sort of Nirvana limbo, only viewable from their respective lists. On the flip side, since Nirvana is quick and lean, it's easy to move around between your various lists to review them manually. Basil Things, on the other hand, has a section dedicated to the GTD Reflect stage, which is probably the best I've seen on any app. With dedicated sections to your weekly review, perspective setting, and detailed analytics for each GTD stage, it is a joy to use for any GTDer who enjoys measuring things. It's an intuitive menu that interconnects with all other items in your GTD system inside of Facile Things, so it wins out in this department. Now that you've learned how to set up your system in both apps, let's look at how they compare in helping you actually engage. And what's important here, in my opinion, is that they provide you with the right information, the right time and the right place so you know exactly what you can do at any moment. Nirvana has a separate focus list that you can park items into. You can also have these items emailed to you as a daily digest so you know exactly what you need to do, when and where. Its next actions lists can easily be filtered through using labels that signify context, time or energy available so you can find what needs to be done in seconds. It's not fancy, but it does the job, and that's really all you want. I always say that you need to spend as little as time as possible in your to-do app, since every minute spent in there is a minute lost to actually doing things. Facile Things Engage Me and You is beautifully designed with a clear overview of scheduled actions, next actions that can be filtered through, and reminders that you're due to receive for today from the tickler file. You can also show only the calendar or only next actions if you prefer and navigate to the calendar from the same view with ease. It also allows you to receive a daily digest, just like Nirvana. And with that in mind, I'm giving the win to Facile Things, since they gave thought to designing a beautiful dashboard that makes you feel like a pilot in the cockpit of your mind navigating through the day. Now that we've gone through the functionality of these apps, Let's zoom out a bit and take a look at who's actually behind them. Who created these apps? After all, you're entrusting a lot of sensitive information to these apps, so it's important that you feel good about who is hosting that information. Nirvana has been around for a long time, since 2009, and it is often recommended in GTD forums, which is how I first learned about it. It's made for GTD, but not by GTD, and it is not affiliated or endorsed by the David Allen Company. They are open and transparent about this, as they are with their help documentation, and they average around 4.4 out of 5 stars based on hundreds of reviews in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. The company behind Nirvana is named People Like Us, based in Canada. Or People Like Us, not sure how to say it. Based on its LinkedIn data, it has six employees and is a creative agency. And it seems to me that Nirvana is not their only product, so I hope that a small team with distributed focus can keep on maintaining the app long term. Their last technical update I found on their blog was dated to February of 2021. So I don't see them innovating at a large scale like some other players such as TickTick, Todoist, ClickUp or Taskade are doing. Overall, I believe Nirvana is software that you can use safely based on their long-term presence in the game. But don't expect frequent quality of life improvements. Facile Things was founded by Francisco Saez. He noticed many apps force you to spend more time getting organized rather than actually getting things done. 
And he noticed that is a common issue for those who practice GCD. And I quote, that is why I decided to develop an application that allows you to get organized effectively, but without worrying about the organization itself. An application that allows you to enjoy a more relaxed and productive life. Well, that is a mission statement I can certainly get behind. And I agree that this is a general problem in productivity tech. It seems to be a three-person team based on what I found on LinkedIn as of June 2022, similarly small as Nirvana. And I hope that this small size doesn't stand in the way of them maintaining, updating, and innovating the app to keep up with the competition. Unfortunately, the app does not get favorable ratings on Google Play, with just three stars based on a couple dozen reviews, and three and a half stars with just six reviews on the Apple App Store. Slow load times are frequently cited as the main usability problem, which is what I found as well. All in all, this leaves me more confident in Nirvana as a product, if I had to choose between the two. Facile Things has a 30-day free trial without a credit card required, which is a generous onboarding offer. After that, you can continue with a monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, or annual subscription starting at 9 euros per month down to 533 depending on which you choose. This is more expensive than much more powerful tools like Todoist, but may be worth it for those seeking a guided GTD experience. Nirvana comes with a much cheaper $3 per month subscription when billed annually, or five for a monthly subscription. They used to have a lifetime subscription as well for a one-time fee, but I could no longer find it on their website, so I think they removed it. In short, both of these apps are actually very flawed when upholding them to a standard like GTD and when comparing them to other apps like Todoist and TickTick, for which I also have a comparison review on this channel. They especially fall short in the capturing department. They may, however, still be a great choice for those of you who are just getting started with GTD or those of you who like to have a bit of hand-holding because there is virtually no startup investment time needed as they have a lot of pre-built GTD lists, which work great. Now between them, Facile Things does offer some quality of life advantages over Nirvana, like with those wizards or organizing your entire life in one system with pre-built higher level lists as well. But it falls short in the ease of use. Department. Especially those slow loading times, which I've observed and many others too, give Facile Things more of a slow website feel rather than a quick snippy app feel like Nirvana. So while it may be slow in its development, for long term pleasant use, I'm giving the win in this comparison review to Nirvana. If this comparison review was helpful to you, then make sure to check out my tutorials. I have two tutorials, one for each of these. Or you can browse my channel for videos on other productivity tech that you could consider trying out.